Hey guys, Toy here, and today I am shooting my July uh, kind of wrap up video where I will be updating my reading challenge and hopefully um, talking about all what I'm currently reading and what I want to read next. So let me go ahead and get out my notes. I can't remember everything that's going on. So let's see what I got here. Oh boy, I've been working on a lot of stuff lately. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, here we go. My reading challenge notes. So um, it looks like, so I had a really good month of July. Uh, since I'm on vacation right now, I'm really kind of stress free right now, which is good. Um, but as it gets closer to back to school time, who knows? Um, this was a pretty good reading month. Pretty much everything that I reviewed was either a four or a five. Um, I'm not the kind of person who gives a lot of negative reviews to begin with. I'm really good about reading things that I know I'm, I'm going to at least be interested in, which helps, you know, combat like the two and one star reviews. Um, but sometimes, you know, I usually give like a three. And usually if I give a three, it means that I'll, I'm glad I read it, but it wasn't fantastic or, you know what I mean? Like threes to me are not bad. They're just not up there with the four and fives. But if I'm giving something a two or a one, you know, well, that's... <laughs> so I actually read six publications um, in the month of July. And I say publications because some of them are really short. Only one of the books that I read in the month of July was from my original list of books to read this year. And I actually read two nonfiction books this month, which for me, that's an accomplishment because I don't usually read nonfiction. I'm 68% through my entire Goodreads challenge, which I think is pretty good. It's July, and I'm well past that 50% mark, so it's highly likely that I'll make my challenge goal. I only have 16 more books to reach that challenge goal, which I set at 50 books. And for my um, To Be Read This Year challenge, I only have 11 more books in that to complete, which, you know, mostly has contributed to the fact that I am in book clubs and those books were added to the list and then other stuff comes up that I want to read. So I still have quite a few more from that list to read, but overall, I think, you know, my challenge is going well. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm still continually reading my devotion, um, Cling to God. At one point, I was reading like three of those a day because let's just face it, some days, you need more Jesus than normal, but um, I'm pretty much on a one a day, so that's kind of slowed my pace down, um, but I'll probably still finish it like in the next month, um, October at the very latest. What I actually read in the month of July. I'm going to start with uh, Faith and Fandom, and this was a very short read. I actually got this at a local con. It just totally appealed to me because, you know, I'm a geek girl. And then there's the whole faith aspect of it. I was really curious to see what, you know, went on with that. I ended up giving it an overall grading of four. And I did a very thorough review of it on my blog. So you can check the link below for that. And I also read, uh, reread The Secret Garden in this month. I hadn't read that since I was like a kid. And that was actually for my book club discussion. We picked different books um, to read for specific things. We were focusing on characterization. And um, if you follow me on Goodreads, you might be able to see some of that discussion, at least my comments on my update feed. So if you're at all you know, curious, you can check that out. And um, I ended up giving Secret Garden a five, which is what I would have given it you know, when I was a kid if I had reviewed it. Even though my impressions of it are a lot different now, I still really enjoyed it. Plus I have a thing about gardens anyway. I mean, I have a whole Pinterest board dedicated to gardens. All right, so the next thing that I read was um, Book Dreams. That was the Brain to Books anthology that I actually contributed to. So this one was kind of difficult. I could not leave an Amazon review of it. I mean, I probably could have, but I didn't want to. It just didn't seem ethical considering their review policy and everything like that. But since Goodreads does let authors, you know, kind of rate their own books and give you like a little snippet not like a true review but you know you can leave a comment I did do that so I rated it a five which honestly it was a really good anthology um, I, I thought my story was pretty good but some of the other ones like blew my mind um, my favorite from book dreams was a story called um, 
the quilt of belonging so if you want to check that out go for it next book that i rated was my first nonfiction book on the list which actually i started this one back in i believe may but you know april and me was kind of crazy and i just you know let it slip away picked it back up and that was la punk rocker by brenda perlin and i ended up giving that one an overstar um overall star rating of four i really enjoyed it it's kind of hard to describe it it's mostly a memoir but it's an anthology other people have contributed to it and there are a few little snippets of like fiction in there so yeah if you want to check out the review it's on goodreads um the next non-fiction book that i reviewed was naked review how to get book reviews and that was by Gisela Houseman and I have so many of her books and I may have mentioned this before but I feel terrible that I've never finished any of her books and I've never <laughs> reviewed any of her books and I'm going to rectify that I am but what it is is because she writes these like they're kind of the well they're self-help books uh, mainly for the publishing industry but a lot of it can be applicable to any type of creative person and so I start reading them and I like what I'm reading and then I start, you know, doing other stuff and I only go back to the books. I pretty much use her books as like reference material, but I really should read one from beginning to end and review it. And this is the first one, which is it's terrible. I mean, the book is good, but I'm terrible. I ended up giving it a five star. Um, it's a short read. She's very straight to the point. She basically clarifies a lot of rumors out there about the whole you know process of getting reviews um, she clarifies a lot of misinformation that's out there about Amazon's review policy and then she gives you step by step you know um, things that you can do to pursue honest reviews in an honest way because that's basically what's happening is there's a lot of you know kind of scandal going on with that and she squashes it all so that was really good and um, if it, as of the time I'm shooting this video, um, the book is being given away on Goodreads. So if you're interested, I'm going to include a link below so you can enter that giveaway if you want to, you know, get a copy. And the last thing that I reviewed was Hellboy Seed of Destruction number one. And actually, I don't usually read individual comic books. I usually read, read like a whole graphic novel. But what happened was I discovered that um, through I have my own Amazon account, but my husband also has an account, and he has had Amazon Prime, like, forever, but we just use it because of, like, the free shipping and stuff like that. Well, I realized that I could actually read some books for free, and so I, I, I did that, and I have some that I'm working on, and then I saw this comic book, and I didn't realize that it was just a single issue. It wasn't a full graphic novel, so I'll have to try to get the rest of it, but I, I read this issue in the series free on Amazon Prime, ended up giving it a four only because I was already kind of familiar with the story so it didn't blow my mind and it was kind of um, difficult to read because I was reading it on a device. Um, I know I'm all the time talking about how I prefer to read ebooks just because it's quick and easy I can take it with me um, inexpensive so, but I do still read paperbacks from time to time and um, comic books are one of those that if I can get it in my hands, I will. But I read e-comic e e books all the time, but I do like to have them in my hand sometimes. So, yeah, that is what I read in the month of July. So let's look at what I'm currently reading. I'm currently reading something else, nonfiction. I am just on a self-improvement plan that I didn't even know about. <laughs> this one is Sell Your Soul by Russell Nolte. And you may have heard me mention him before. I've reviewed some of his work. He's a... He's a comic book writer, now novel writer, now self-help writer, but he owns his own, you know, independent press, and he does Kickstarters all the time, and I'm all the time contributing to kind of get in there at the beginning of everything that I've seen of him that I've, I've enjoyed. So when he says that, you know, he's taking all of the knowledge that he's accumulated over the years and put it into a book to show you how he achieved success, I thought, well, why not? So um, I actually got an advanced reader copy of it, so that's I'm reading that right now. And I hope to get a review for that later. Um, I'm reading Hero Lost. That's another anthology that I actually started in July, but I put it down to focus on some other things. But I'm picking it back up. And then let's see what else. I'm going to read uh, an ebook that I got from one of the newsletters that I follow. It's ShareCon Masters Reimagined. And this particular author, and I feel terrible that I didn't write down her name but um 
she's written some different things that I like. And so this is like a really like a short, like almost like flash, flash fiction. I think it's a little bit longer than flash fiction, but you know, it was just something to try. So, and I like, um, and it's retelling. And so I like the Jungle Book and I think this one is a retelling of that. And then I won an audio book from Dancing Lemur Press. I was so excited. And so hopefully I'll, I'm going to get to that audio book um, in the month of August. It's called <sighs> Motowak Woman Who Cries. I probably mispronounced that, but that's what I'm hopefully going to listen to in the month of August. I'm going to read Lightning Crimes. This is Disaster Crimes 2.5. Um, I read the first um, book, which was a, a just short, um, like novella. The second one was a full-length novel, and I guess this 2.5 is in between the second and third stories, and so it's also like a novella. I believe, don't quote me, check the links, but I believe this one is perma-free. It's kind of like the teaser that she gives to people if they're not already familiar with the series. So if you want to look up Lightning Crimes, go ahead and check that out, but I'll be reading that in um, August. And I'm also going to finally pick up my Lunar Chronicles again and read Cress. It's, I believe it's the third book in the Lunar Chronicles. I just, you know, I have, I have difficulty reading series, like, all in just one straight line. I have to, like, pop them around. I don't know why I do that. And so that is what I'm currently reading or planning to read in the month of August. And I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to think about it a little bit, but I've kind of been wanting to do, like, a binge of, like, um, graphic novels because I have accumulated quite a few. So I may do some type of read-a-thon or something. If you think I should, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll figure out a way to get some community involvement or at least maybe get some support and someone to encourage me to do it. Because I have like five or six, maybe even seven graphic novels that I've just been holding on to and I think I just want to kind of like barrel through them in like one or two days if I just, you know, sit down and do it. So maybe that could come up in August or maybe September. We'll see. So yeah, that is what I have going on for the month of August. That's what I read in July, and I'm feeling pretty good about my reading challenge. Now all I have to do is work on my writing. Oh, my writing. I'm making some progress, but it's slow. <laughs> That's all I have for now. Bye-bye.